so all of us would have heard about that you know case what came first the chicken or the egg i think ev has had that problem since the time it has come in when it comes to charging infra and when it comes to evs there has always been a debate what what will come first whether the ev should scale first and then the charging infra should follow or whether the charging infra should follow and then the ev should come first uh, we very much believe that problem can be solved if you know all the stakeholders which are a part of this complete ecosystem be it the oem be it the battery technology provider be it the charging infra provider or the cpo or be it the uh, the fleet operator or the end customer if all of these stakeholders work in tandem with each other then this problem can very easily be solved charging infra if you see is an operational problem technologies at the charging infra level are very much evolved to an extent you have you know chargers anywhere from 1 kilowatt uh, charger to anywhere up to 120 to 50 kilowatt chargers the challenge always has been that evs at the oem side were never able to take in such high current and charge fast for a charging infra as a business to work you need to have better or higher real estate utilization you need to have higher asset utilization but that can only happen when the power that you're getting from the grid into the charger charges the vehicle at the same speed which was never happening because and the main problem being technology at the ev level at the battery level battery was never able to take in that higher current that the grid could give through that charger that's where log9 came in and solved this problem by becoming the center point of all these stakeholders we solved the first the battery problem the cell problem we solved the cell problem by bringing out a technology which can take in as higher current as which can give your ev a charging time of 10 minutes 12 minutes from there we integrated with the right oem we brought, uh, put it out with the right business or in the right application which is commercial wherein you require fast charge you require long life and then we brought in the cpos or the right charger technology to support the operations of the fleet operator now just think about when all of these stakeholders start working in a very unified action you know ev oem is bringing out the right product with the right battery tech which can charge fast the cpo or the charging infra provider is able to understand the operations of the fleet operator and put up the charger at the right at the right route at the right position and your fleet operator is able to work alongside the ev oem as well as the cpo to make sure that his operations are smooth you get a perfect a perfect balance of each of them and that's when this chicken and egg solves ultimately if we continue doing the same approach we had before that you know we don't bump up the technology at any level we don't create that unified person or that unified entity which brings all of these pieces together you will always remain in a chicken and egg problem and it will never scale as ev should